Welcome back YouTube, welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. Now I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Um, just wanting to, again, thank you, thank you so much for all of the support everyone's been having on the YouTube videos recently. It's been absolutely insane, so thank you very much for that. Um, but the topic we're going to be speaking about today is Factory, because I wanted to do a continuation video from the video that I posted a couple of weeks back, which has actually been doing fantastically well. Uh, speaking about the things that I like to do to keep my uh, bank account in Escape from Tarkov filled to the brim as much as physical possible uh, so we can be running those chad runs every single raid um now factory is something that i got into a little bit uh, in that particular video speaking about like what i can do especially in scav runs to be making lots of money during that now in this video i'm going to be showing you uh, all of the little loot spots around the map in factory and the little runs that i do uh with my scav runs to make sure that i'm making continuous money without actually having to fight people obviously fighting people is last resort if i need to but to be able to make out with the money the first way but there are little little spots around uh, the factory where you can make yourself a fair amount of money so i'll be getting in that, into that today uh but again remember if you haven't already like the video subscribe for more content and let's crack straight into the video yo guys welcome back uh as spoken about before i'm going to be doing a little bit of a run on factory so i thought this would be a little bit easier if i did this live with you guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to well i'm already in a pve match but i've turned all bots off so we're just in a offline raid right now just so it makes it a lot easier so i can get around the map without anyone disturbing me shooting me or trying to blast my face off so um i've lo loaded into this offline raid i'm going to be just taking you around the map obviously a lot of people already know a lot of uh, uh the map area the map factory itself and actually the the area and what is how it's mapped out but there are a lot of weapon crates and containers and things that you can loot uh, loot spawns and spots uh that some people don't know about uh what is very helpful to know if you are scav running on this map consistently um to be able to check these spots because you can find some really awesome loot there and like i said sometimes you can find this and immediately get out of the map if you have a cool uh, scav extract what obviously a, a spot around the map and uh, being able to get out pretty easily and making some serious cash. So uh, let's hop straight into it. So I have spawned on the back side. So we have a, a container, well actually an extract, uh, down this staircase right here. If you have factory key, you can leave from this extract. But for most people, you're either going to spawn in this back area back there, or you're going to spawn back here as a PMC. Obviously, as a scab, you're going to spawn absolutely anywhere. But what I thought I was going to spawn here as a scab, what I firstly do is come over and check these coat pockets straight away. Uh, Copog is obviously absolutely amazing for spawn chances for keys and everybody knows in keys in Tarkov sells for shit tons of money. Uh, obviously nothing uh, in that one for today. Obviously it doesn't really matter if I find anything at the moment because soft so it doesn't mean anything. Um, but after looting those you can leave through this over this door or you can run around that area. And there's a couple of spaces to check so up here on the left hand side there's a weapon container. You can check this. Obviously, you can spawn guns, ammunition, suppressors, all the nice stuff. The morphine for me that time uh, was obviously quite nice too. Um, now, obviously, coming down from here, you can run up to the back part of the map. This is also moving towards the main extract. It could be quite a hot area, uh, but at the same time, there also is a scav extract and scav spawn a couple of times here as well. And you can move here, and there's a, the, the ammo crates here, so you can check these. Obviously, again, these can spawn attachments, sights, size suppressors, uh, ammunition. Obviously, ammunition is a really good one to come out of these ones. Like, you get yourself like a stack of 60 VPs, or you know, depending on, on typically ammo, maybe some good 5.6 uh, ammo. Uh, also, a lot of people don't know when you run it into here, I think over here, or you can run it into here, there are armor spawns. So if you haven't got any armor, you can pick up like a 3M or something like that. That's also quite no to, handy to know at the beginning of the wipe if you're trying to do the quest to get and hand in the free armor, uh, the free M armor, body armors. Um, and also there's another container right here. Again, obviously being the same things as the last one when it comes to the what spawns in there. Um, so after that, you can either decide to go down into that area, middle area there where you're going to get a few loot spots. Or you can move into the, the main three-story uh, dorms area. Like, what, this, this is what this bit is. Obviously, a lot of the PvP happens here, so you guys usually have a lot of um, player action. I probably recommend avoiding that area as much as you can. There is some decent loot in there, but like I said, a lot of people like to hang out there quite a lot. Um, so you're likely to get shot. This one can be a bit of a risky one because you're a little bit in the open. But there you go. Like I said, just spawn there. We have a SKS with suppressor. So slap that straight on there. And uh, you can see make a little bit of money from the suppressor and the SKS. Um, adding on there. Like I said, military filter, grey filter there too. Uh, and then as you move into here, there's a couple of coat pockets again. Check if these for key spawns. So it's obviously keys make serious cash. And this is where you're going to make the majority of your money. I've come out with factory keys, different reserve keys, shoreline keys, 
um, stuff like that, even like nuts and bolts, and that will sell for like 10 15k on the flea market, so it's always worth taking. Uh, and out here, there's also another weapon crate as well. Again, this is a little bit of a high traffic area too, so this one can be a bit risky. The only time I really loot this one um, is if I've ever just spawned here. I can just quickly try and grab it before anyone else does. Uh, and I'm trying to make no much noise. Uh, but again, it's like it's a little bit risky. Uh, so you can either you do now is run down the left hand side over there, or you can come out this way. I'm just going to quickly show you this one. Uh, but again, this is one I'd probably recommend just leaving unless you're really right late the raid where there's, you know there's nobody left. Because uh, this one again is like really open in, uh, in the air. Open out. Open out. I can't use any words for me today. <laughs> It's really open, and you can get shot in the face. Uh, as I said before, you can run down this left area here. So if you were to run down this left area, you're now going to move towards another PMC spawn. Uh, so there probably won't be anyone there at the time being. And uh, if you run down here, this is the way I would have come from if I would have come from the other direction. There are spawns here, so you can get like uh, medication spawns, uh, stims, uh, IFAX, stuff like that, and spawn in the corners there. So it's always good to kind of like check those as you walk past just to see if you see anything that spawns in there. Um, and then you kind of run your way down the side here. These ones I always usually get. There's barely anyone usually like looking down in this area, so you can usually pick these up pretty easily. Again, another weapon container. You can pick this one up quite nicely without anyone noticing. Because like I said, the, one of the tricks, actually, while we're here, is mention this, because a lot of people, players don't know this, is that you think that you can have to walk up to it, and as soon as you click it, you, you're stuck in the animation. Um, what you people don't know is if you actually walk up to the crate, press F for search, but then you can walk and crouch. So if you press F, move to the site, and then crouch, you can actually be looting it, like, in better cover, for instance. So if I'm standing here... Obviously, I'm going to be a lot easier for someone over there to see me from shooting me. But if I grab this from the corner and then crouch down here and like put my head down, somebody is less likely to see me. So that's a little trick when it comes to looting the traits. You can do that on any map, any crate. So I do it for pretty much with this one as well. So what I'll try to do is I'll grab this one and then I'll try to head my way a little bit further into there. So I'm a little bit further out of sight. Again, suppress again, sights, and some ammunition. Uh, also spawns here. And there are some spawns and stuff on the floor in here too. But scab body. It's a good one to pick up on here. Power cord again, sell some money. Again, like cigarettes and stuff like that. If you have the quests, some money is always good too. Now, I would avoid really going down in the bottom area there. There's nothing in there when it comes to lootable, uh, lootable areas. But you can move your way round here so this one again is a little bit of a risky one you can get caught in the open sometimes from people but a way of again like looting that is like coming down here and crouching so you kind of like cutting yourself off the area but these ones usually are pretty good for spawning weapons uh, so even if you're scapping in you haven't got a decent weapon someone's picking that up and um, getting a weapon is quite handy also layable spawns here so you can pick stuff up on the sides i've seen like sights suppressors and stuff like that and lay on the side there as well so you can pick up some decent things from it too and again, another weapon crate. There you go, this gun. AK-101. Find yourself something decent. And you've also got to remember, guys, that one thing to take into consideration here is when you're doing this is that, obviously, you're in a live raid. There's nothing going on right now because I'm on PvE, but there's a live raid going on as well. So when you're doing this, there'll be, like, bodies laying around. There'll be, like, people laying around, like, all over the place, you know, because you'll be late raids, you're scaving into it. Um, so it's always really, really good to obviously pick up those. Like I said, upgrade your bag, get bigger bags, bigger stuff so you can carry more things. Or whatever you even support more stuff. A lot of people don't know as well is if you walk up here... Don't walk right up here. Walk here. There's another weapon crate there. Or, or an ammo box you can pick up stuff from. People don't know that one's there. Sometimes it's a bit of an obvious one. Even that one over there people don't know about. Because uh, they don't really see it. Because you wouldn't really think walk through there. Because like I said, it's just a bit of an open area you get shot from. Um, now, there isn't really simply anything you can loot in here. I know there's some things that spawn in the side of the uh, crates here. The only thing you really want to be checking while coming into this uh, part of the, um, the shower area at the bottom of the, the dorm area, or the three-story area, is there's a key spawn. There is a key spawn. I think it's in this one or this one. One of these uh, these two or three um, lockers that are open. There's uh, a shoreline's key. It's 
when at the beginning of the wipe was like 500k uh, and then kind of comes down in price then i think it's probably sitting now around about the 60 or 70k mark um one thing was quite interesting actually if you've got the keys for this there's like, actually there's a key room here and there's some spawns on the uh, sides now i don't actually have my keys on me right now but there's actually a key spawn in there you can go in there and check obviously this is going to be pvp central so if people are still alive there's most probably bodies all up and down this area and loads of people around um but like i said this is a really good spot so there you go look gp coin on the side uh what is that? Just pick up. Oh, there's a 35 round mag for this case. Uh, loaded with some ammunition type as well. I'm not sure ammo it is. I lost the whole stuff. Um, what I actually saw someone the other day. Like you can get guns spawned in this as well. They look really weird because the janky is hell because the guns kind of just stick out like really, really far. I got a uh, TX15 the other day. It's like 120k or 130k gun just sticking out the side there. Uh, like I said, you find some whippings in there. It's a bit of a weird area. Uh, but again, uh, spawns in here as well and uh, obviously back on there again as I just showed. Um, but like I said, obviously the safe is a bit of a an obvious one a lot of people obviously know there's a safe in here and uh this got hit up pretty often but it's always worth checking if you're going to come in there and check uh but they're good to check and then again on the back side of the door there's coats to check obviously coats again for keys check stuff like that um this is a little bit of a risky thing obviously because when you're opening and closing these you'll be able to hear it's not really making much noise at the moment there you go, that's the noise. So that makes a lot of noise and people can hear that. And because it takes so long to loot those, I wouldn't recommend it. Cause, and like I said, because this is a high traffic area anyway, you're mostly going to get shot when someone's going to push you in here. Um, this is obviously a scav extract as well. So if you have a scav and you want to hit this last and you want to hit all this stuff before you leave and you can just listen out for people coming nearby, uh, then you can obviously close the doors and quickly extract if you hear somebody. So that's, I guess, a bit of a tip for you if you wanted to loot that anyway on the way out if it is your extract. Um, but yeah, that's... Well, it's kind of getting towards the end of it, really. There isn't really too much else to cover. I mean, they're pretty much most of the lootable areas you can get in factory. There might be, like, one or two spots I've missed um, off the top of my head. But that's pretty much it when it comes to all the lootable areas you can pretty much find in the map. Um, like I said, if you are a scav, you're either going to support scav spawn, uh, scav extract, sorry, up there, or you're going to run down to the blinking light, that's what it's called. Uh, blinking camera door. Camera door, what is down here? So you can come up from multiple areas, and this will be your extract in this corner. And you can leave right here. Uh, that's if you're a PMC, you can also spawn up there as well. But this is pretty much it. It's kind of wrapping up for you guys. So, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much most of the areas you can find in there. But like I said, this is like me not bringing anything. And I've just kind of managed to loot and check these out. But you've got to remember at the same time, you're going to be in a live rag. There are going to be other players around. There are going to be scavs running around the place. And there will be loads of dead bodies. Uh, so there will be extra loot with that. So you pick up the loot from the dead bodies. And what I do is I don't hit all of these. Obviously, because you, if you're staying in this map too long, you will get killed. Um, but what I'm doing is on the way past places to get to new areas I'm picking this stuff as I go and I have made you know shit tons of money from doing this like picking up really really good keys for instance like when power core was really expensive it's not anymore uh, different suppressors and you know, I found really expensive guns and stuff like that in those containers. Uh, but like I said, a lot of them don't get hit because people don't want to risk, you know, looting and open. Uh, but if you're a scab, it doesn't matter if you die. Uh, but at the same time, like I said, you've just got to make sure you hit them because like I said, most people just leave them alone. So it's, it's always worth doing because like I said, you found stuff. Like, like I said, for instance, you can see the stuff that I found on the floor. Like, you know, good suppressors will make money. Power cord will use to make money. GP coins, you know, uh, guns, um, you know, bolts and stuff like that. You can sell on the flea market. All that good stuff What is just going to make you money. So it's always worth hitting them. Um, because I'm going to kind of wrap things up here because there's nothing else really to explain but like I, said, I just wanted to kind of um, further detail to my previous video when I explained about scaving on factory to make money I do this on top of that to kind of like emphasize making more money on factory than what the most people do because they just do leave those crates un un uh, unlooted and they're always worth tr um, trying and getting stuff out of them because you never know what you might get in it unless you try so um yeah appreciate you guys enjoying that uh, well liking the video i'm pretty sure you guys actually stop and by and checking out the content so thank you very much for the support continued support anyway for the channel i uh, hope you guys have a really good rest of your day and weekend and i'll catch you guys in the next video